Hey guys, it's Matt with bleepinjeep.com. Thanks for watching. Today I want to talk to you about Tuffy security products. A lot of times people think of Tuffy and they think of Jeep consoles, but they make a lot more than that. And today I want to install a Tuffy security box under the rear seat of my Tundra. Tuffy makes drawers, consoles, glove boxes, security boxes, all kinds of stuff. But this one in particular goes under the rear seat of a double cab Tundra. So it comes in this box, it's got two keys with it, and safely locked inside is the directions and a catalog and a few other goodies. So the directions are fairly simple, it's pretty easy to put together, there's just one page. And there's only a few hardware components, so you should be able to install this in no time. Got a couple washers, some brackets, um, carriage bolts, and wing nuts. Alright, so we're going to start by looking at the rear seat brackets and we're just going to unbolt these because you're going to need to slide this new bracket underneath put the carriage bolt in first oops so it might help if you remove the seat from the back part as well there's another bolt back there on the back it'll just give you more wiggle room that way you can lift this up and slide everything back together once you get everything lined up it'll just pop right back down there we go. Now go ahead and reinstall the bolt from the factory. Actually, you're going to loosen it back up. Let's do the other side first before we go ahead and tighten that up. That way we can move things around, make sure it's straight before we tighten it up to final spec. Now all you need to do is take the box and shove it in here and we're going to line up the holes, open it up and then I've got some uh, these quick wing nuts. You don't even need a wrench. You just tighten these down with your fingers. Do the same on the other side. And then snug that puppy down. That's it, you're basically done. You do, however, want to make sure that this gap right here lines up with the seats. So make sure that that is straight. That way you can get the box open and the seats open um, individually. Then go ahead and tighten it down. And the factory bolts as well. Okay, let's rewind here for a sec. I want to show you something. So if you don't have a tundra you probably don't know this but the seats on a tundra they don't fold down from the back there's a lot of wasted space there it's almost like the engineers wanted to do it but they just didn't get around to it because there is a hook on the back side and you can easily modify this with just a little bit of effort so if you loosen those bolts while you have this undone this is a great mod to do while you're putting the box in so while you've got the bolts loose for installing this box, you might as well fold the seat down and then we're going to take off these brackets and I'll show you how to modify them so that you can get your Tundra seat to fold down. So you're going to take four of these off and they look like this. They've got little hooks on the back and we're just going to modify them by cutting them up above this circle right here. And I cut them wrong at first but you actually need to cut right above that little circle. You see that little piece of plastic that has a little circle marked in it, you're going to cut right above that. And you're going to cut it at the same angle that it was before, so it's real easy to get the correct angle. It needs to be exact though, the correct length, and so it's about 7 eighths of an inch starting at this point here and then sloping down at the same angle. I just took my grinding wheel, my cutoff wheel, on an angle grinder and whack that off and then go ahead and install them back and don't install them upside down like I did here you need it to face like it was from the beginning of course and tighten everything back down there we go now much better you can fold the seat up like you could before that folds up and it doesn't move it's locked into place or you can fold the seat down and it's locked into place, the back won't come forward. Or if you want to fold it down, you just lift halfway up, fold it down, and then if you want to fold it back up, 
you just lift the seat halfway up and it goes over the hooks back to place. Now let's get back to the Tuffy box. So Tuffy also sells this pick and pluck foam. So when you buy your box you might want to think about getting some of this. You just cut it to fit the box and it's got these little scores in it. You can see them there and you'll see in a minute but those things you can just put your fingers down in and pick and pluck those suckers out to make a hole for anything that you need to and it keeps your stuff from rattling around but also keeps it from getting scratched inside here. So let's put some goodies in this thing. I'm just going to lay it down, trace it out with a pen, and then pick and pluck. Now if you had two layers of foam, one underneath this, you could just pluck it through because they go all the way through. But in my case I just wanted it to sit halfway down so I took some scissors and just kind of cut half of the foam out instead of all of it. It's a little bit tedious, but uh, once you get it done, it makes for a nice fit. Now check it out. So the box sits underneath the front of the seat, and it's nice and hidden up under there. You just take the handle, pull it up, and you take your key, open it up, and you've got your goodies inside. Now the way this rifle folds in the long magazine kind of takes up a lot of the room, but I would say you could probably fit three or four shotguns in here, and maybe a rifle and some handguns, and a couple of magazines as well. And it's all nice and secure. Now if you look at the key, it's double-sided, so you don't have to worry about which way you put it in. Now I know you're super curious about what is in the other side, and that is for the really important stuff. Check it out. I've got my ping-pong paddle my ping pong ball, my Dunkin' yo-yo, a Rice Krispie treat, and a single strike on box match. Now what I like about this box too is that it seems to add space back here. I didn't even realize I had this much space before, but there's about 18 inches behind the box plus the box. So you can just stuff stuff back there and it won't fall out from underneath the seat. It hides nice and tight up underneath the seat. It's not too big of a deal, but it sits so flush with the seat that if you fit a grown person back here, normally you'd want to put your heels under the seat. You can't really do that with this box, so you tend to want to kind of put your feet sideways. The other thing I noticed is that because of the hump in the middle of the floor, there's a gap underneath the box on either side. The mats fit under there, but there's probably about six to eight inches of space under there where you could potentially lose something or you could call it more storage. Now the other thing I noticed is that the box kind of wiggles in here. It's not real secure. Now I could probably fix that with a bolt going through the floorboard, but then you got another rust point. You may think that's not very secure, but what we're really protecting from here is smash and grab thefts. That's where your stuff goes missing most of the time, is very quick in and out thefts. Even if you've got a giant vault, people are gonna get your stuff if they really want it and they have enough time. Another improvement I could see making, I'm not sure if this is possible, but it's kind of hard to get to the other side. So if one key could operate both locks, that would be awesome, because depending on which side you're on, it's hard to crawl over that far and get to the other lock. One of the greatest things about the box, though, in my opinion, is that you can't even tell it's there from the outside. You would have no idea unless you knew. Alright guys, thanks for watching Bleep and Jeep. Please make sure to subscribe and check out TuffyProducts.com for this box and many other boxes. Like I said, they've got consoles, glove boxes, truck boxes, all kinds of great stuff. If you've got something worth protecting, check out TuffyProducts.com.